How many times have you come across these questions where you had to find the inverse? After actually following the entire procedure, you wondered, is my answer correct? Well, let's do it the shortcut way. So the answer to this would be x minus 2 minus 2x plus 3. This one would be 4x minus 3 upon minus 6x plus 4. And the third one should be 3x minus 1 upon minus x plus 2. Wondering how did I manage to do it so quickly? Watch this video till the end as I reveal the secret. Let's get started. So first of all, those of you who are wondering what are rational functions, very quickly, the rational functions are the functions, something which is px upon qx, which means where px and qx are the polynomial functions, okay, and your denominator, of course, cannot be zero. So if you basically see two expressions, you divide them, that becomes like your rational function. What we are exploring under this video is, the kind of rational function, let's say ax plus b upon cx plus d, where of course if this has to be non-zero, then x is not equal to minus d by c. So now the moment you come across this form, all you are doing is exchanging these a and d's. That means here I get dx and here I get plus a. Whatever it is, you just exchange it along with the sign and for the remaining b and c, you would write the coefficients as they were, but change their signs. So this becomes minus b and this also becomes minus cx. And that is pretty much your answer. Now let's take up the questions one by one once again. So this was the initial question. f inverse x would be we exchange these two. So this one becomes x. This one stays 3. Now this 2 changes to minus 2 and this 2 again changes to minus 2. And this was the answer. Want to try question 2 on your own? Pause the video and then come again. So f inverse x in this case is we exchange these two along with their signs. So this is minus 4x and this is 4. This one becomes minus 3 and this one becomes minus 6. That's your answer. Once again, here f inverse x, exchange 2 and 3 along with their signs. So this becomes 3x and this is 2. Next, this becomes minus 1 and this again becomes minus x. Of course, there's a plus 2. Wasn't that so simple? Now you can use this trick not only for your competitive exams, but also to verify your final answers in board exams. Do you find the video worth sharing? Please do that and also give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that so far. It's free. See you with the next one. Until then, bye-bye.